Hello guys, welcome back to Free Reacts. I've a wonderful day today. We're going to be reacting to Once Upon a Time, season one, episode five. This episode is called That Still Small Voice. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. And with my hand in Mario. <laughs> Kid. Oh, a cricket. I love crickets. Crickets are trouble. Noisy bugs. But they get to do whatever they want. They're free. You're free to do what we want. Do you want? Jimmy Cricket? Well, maybe I want to be something else. This is before he turned into a cricket? Oh, this is his story, backstory. I don't know a cricket. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why do you think that, Henry? It's just because of who you are. And who am I? Your conscience. You help people see right from wrong. Why do you think it's so important that this is real? It just is. All right, well. He doesn't even know himself, you know? He just believes that it's real, so it's real for him. But he has some clues, though. If everyone is frozen in time, he must be the only one who got to grow up. So, of course, he's going to notice that. He noticed that no one actually has a clear idea about their memories. Because they don't actually know who they are. And also the lack of crickets in town. So those are all clues that can further his beliefs. But so I'm not sure how he got the idea in the first place. Okay, Snow White gave him the book. But was he just like, oh, the, the book actually explains the weird stuff happening in my life. Was it just that? Not sure. A tie. <laughs> you know you don't have to dress a woman as a man to give her authority. Well, at least wear the badge. Go on, take it. Miss Swan, this is now official town business. You're free to go. Oh, well, actually, I work for the town now. <laughs> She's my new deputy. Your only deputy looks like... Hey, the mayor's always last to know. It's in my budget. We will bulldoze it, collapse it, pave it. Pave it? What if there's something down there? Henry, what are you doing here? What's down there? Nothing. Yeah, I think she's hiding something in there. Henry, enough. <laughs> Henry. What if there's something down there? They're just some old tunnels. That just happened to collapse right after you get here. Mm. You're changing things. Did you do anything different today? Because something made this happen. She decided to stay. She took on the job. We need a new treatment plan. Everything I do, he thinks, is part of some horrible plot. Because it is. How is any of this logical to him? He's got an amazing imagination. Yes, that you let run rampant. You will lose your office, lose your house. I can cut you down to size until you're a tiny, shrunken little creature. And this will be the only roof over your damn head. Don't worry, we can find you a place in Snow White's house. If only what she's saying was true. That she's not hiding anything. Bitch, we can tell that you're hiding something in there. And she's just trying yeah, to, to make Henry yeah, think that he's yeah. crazy. Hey, all the fat people. Uh, we make enough from the ticket sales. Do we have to steal yeah. too? We do, but it's nice. We steal from them, and they steal from someone it's else. Nice. It's called an economy. We're a vital part economy? of Economy? Puppets! Wow, what a great job you have. You don't like it? No, no, I don't. Well, then why don't you do something else? This is just who I am. Hey, you better get home. You gotta catch a cold. So are you. Here, have my umbrella. I don't live far. Wait, is it is it the same umbrella he has now? Candy bars? Oh wait, Henry. No, Henry, Henry no. Emma's here, and stuff's happening. I have to look Henry, at it. Henry, Henry, stop. All of this is a delusion. Do you know what a delusion is? I. I think so. It's something that's not real. Th that's when you can no longer tell what's real. And if that continues, then. And I have to lock you away. Oh my god. I didn't want to say that. Oh, they're spending time together? Mrs. Oh, Nolan. I. Oh, it, oh, it's noon already. I didn't realize. I should go. Catherine was horrible. It'd be easier, but. <laughs> she's so nice. And what exactly would be easier? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing's a good idea. Oh, kid. Henry. What happened? You protect this kid at all costs, seriously. Okay. What could be strong enough to drown out your own conscience? I do not need to defend my professional decisions to you, okay? I dropped Henry at your office an hour ago. 
Well, he's not here. So, so see? I don't know where what you've done? I do. You went to the mines. Now he feels he has to prove that he's not crazy. To whom did these treasures belong? <laughs> Thank you, you can go. <laughs> but you want something else. For a year, I'm stuck in that damn wagon. Who wants to break free? I want to be some of those. Then I have exactly what you need. He was already making him a potion before he even asked for it. What? After the potion has done its work. Leave them what exactly? Them and I'll come collect them. It'll be my fee. What will become of them? Worry you not. Oh, kid. God damn it. The same glass that Regina had, right? Listen, we gotta get out of here, okay? So you're still against me. You don't believe me? You'll see. No, You'll see. no. Ugh, kids. <laughs> Everything isn't about money, Jiminy. It's about the principle. A commitment to excellence. Excellence at stealing money. What's wrong with the way of thinking, seriously? Do you have a place at your hearth for an honest man and his... Not very honest <laughs> parents. Oh, I just can't get it out of my mind. That family. Terrible way to go. Oh. What? Plague. Plague. Are you okay? Oh, us? No, we're immune. We have elf tonic. Made by elves from elf. Oh, I wish we had extra. We don't have extra. There is no extra. We could pay you. Well, I guess we should start loading up. Thank you. Thank you. Terrible, terrible people. Those are good people. They, they would never have hurt us like that. And that's where they went wrong. You've given me no other choice. <laughs> How frail do you think we are, son? Rainwater won't hurt us. <laughs> Wait. Can you switch them? Oh, look at that. New puppets for the act. Who are you? Who's the guy who gave him the umbrella? You're making it worse. I am trying to save him. You know why he went in there in the first place, don't you? Because you made him feel like he had something to prove. Who's encouraging Do him? Do not put this on me. Oh, please, lecture me until his oxygen runs out. She cares about him. In her own way. She's Flowers. terrible at being a parent, though. Not just a parent, she's terrible at being a decent human being <laughs> in general. We need to find some way to punch through the ground. We need something big. Explosives. Uh, is it dangerous? You get the mine workers in and out. No, bad timing, bad timing. Oh, oh fuck. Did it work? It didn't open. And what did it do? Make things worse. Where are you going? He's handsome. Very, very handsome. It's like... Like I woke up in some strange land. <laughs> Literally. So Regina didn't give him new memories. She's so loving. Because it was in a coma, so. No, no, it feels real. That sounds lonely. Actually, one thing does feel real. Her. You. What? I know it's crazy, but I swear you're the only thing in this whole place that feels that feels right. The dog. Maybe, the dog. Maybe reek something to bring them back up. Let's go. Come on, buddy. What are you thinking? <laughs> What is that? It's an air shaft. I'm really, really, really sorry. <laughs> Please, he knows. Anyway, I, I, I didn't mean those things I said, and I, I never should have said them. Mm. Why did you? I guess I'm just not a very good person. No, I just lost your path. Jimmy Cricket was a, he was a cricket, okay? And he was a conscience, and, and, and I hardly think that's me. But before he was that, he was a guy who took a long time to figure out the right thing to do. Just like you now. Kind of sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. Lower me down. Oh, no way. I'm going. He's my son. He's my son, too. Oh, wow. You've been sitting behind a desk for 10 years. I can do this. Just bring him to me. It's the first time I've seen Madame Mayor like this. Why do you think it's so important that your, your fairy tale theory is true? Because this can't be all there is. You guys OK? Yeah. We're, we're okay. Hang on, Henry. She's a badass. <laughs> Hang on. 
Oh no, oh no. I'm sorry! It's okay! Oh my god! Wow, that's a pretty damn strong umbrella. Okay, deputy, you can clear the crowd away. She's going attached to him by the second. My relief at his safety hasn't changed a thing, Dr. Hopper. You will do as I say, or you- Or what? Someday, Madam Mayor, you may find yourself in a custody battle. <laughs> and you're in the court determines who is a fit parent. Oh, wow. They consult an expert. Is that a the child. And let me do it the way my conscience tells me. You can just to. boss people around and threaten them like that. Suck it up, Regina. I hear your wish. You don't need to wish. You fairy. I cannot bring back the boy's parents. There may be another way. The little boy, he will grow up to face many challenges. Do you want to help him? I can't get away from these people. They're who I am. No. But if you didn't want to be that, what would you like to be? Cricket? Wow. I hear your wish. The dude really wanted to become a cricket just to get away from his parents. Find the boy, Jiminy. His name is Geppetto. Oh. Oh, they're still friends to this day. Hey. Listen. Crickets. We're back. Things are changing. He's still keeping them as trophies. What the hell? Yeah, what were you hiding in there? I have no idea what that is. Glass. Oh! What is that? The glass coffin that, that Snow was sleeping in? Maybe? Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and see you in the next video.